The New York Knicks, the best in the East, in Phoenix to go against the Suns, the best in the West. You don't need to build this one up. The Knicks were looking for their 10th straight win, but they had a fight on their hands against the Suns. Your two main combatants, Kevin Johnson and Doc Rivers. Rivers taking the ball up, and Kevin Johnson with a surprise for him, and Rivers doesn't take that. It goes after KJ, and the bench is clear, and everyone goes after everyone else. Coaches, assistants, everyone gets in it. By far the worst spectacle in the NBA this season. And you thought you only saw this stuff in hockey. It gets worse. Greg Anthony wasn't in uniform. He's the guy with the flowered shirt. Throws the punch at KJ. You see Pat Riley? He went and tackled the gang and got into it. Riley even ripped his pants in his melee. Rivers, KJ, Anthony Mason, John Starks, Danny Ainge all ejected. Anthony, there he is, escorted off, flower shirt and all. The teams did come back in the third. KJ still hot and bothered. Had to be restrained by Coach Westfall and his teammates. Anthony back with his new duds, also still hopping mad. He had to be taken away for a second time. Finally to the game in the third. It was all sons. Marley to Charles. Barkley loving this and rubbing it in big time. Barkley continued to talk Barkley. with this shot and then the aftermath. Charles, uh, nothing Barkley technical about this win for the Suns. 121-92 the final. The Suns won it on points. The Knicks led the game in ejections, though. Dan Marley with 22 points. Phoenix players in fits over Greg Anthony's involvement in this brawl. The Knicks had no comment after the game, but Suns coach Paul Westfall couldn't stop talking about Pat Riley and his tackling skills. See Pat out on the floor? Yeah, in fact, I got to give him credit, man. That guy was down there in, you know, pulling people off. He was down there on the bottom of the pile. He, he looked like he didn't, he must have a, a clothes deal or something because he didn't care if he got him ripped or sweaty or whatever. I mean, that, that, he's a tough guy. I mean, you got to, you got to take your hat off to him. You know, I was certainly involved. Getting out of control and what happened, I don't, I don't have a problem with whatever decision the league makes or, or the officials at that time. That's up to their discretion. My concern is how can a guy in street clothes come on the court and take a cheap punch and not get severely reprimanded for that. This should be the worst fight ever implemented by the NBA. For a guy coming off the bench in street clothes and cheap shotting, a star player, uh, a player of the caliber, well, for any player for that matter.